So in this video, I want to explain to you how to graph circles in your graphing calculator. First thing I'd like to do is make sure that the y equals is free of any equations. And also do a zoom 6, which will reset your window, followed by a zoom 5. The zoom 5 squares up your window, making the units between the x and the y axes equal. And that will make your circles round versus oval shaped if you did it in a zoom 6 format. So what I want to do is go back to the home screen. And to get those circle functions you just saw, you're going to press second and then the program button. And then you're going to go down to number nine. Number nine is the circle drawing tool. In the parentheses, you're going to enter the radius preceded by the center. So the center and then the radius separated by commas. So for example, you could do a circle at a center of two comma four with say a radius of five units. And then just press enter. Again, from the home screen, second program, number nine. This time I'll do a circle down in quadrant three at negative five comma negative six. And we'll make this a small one with just a radius of two units. And press enter. Now to clear your circles, press zoom, followed by the number five. Now, you can also graph circles from the graph screen itself. From the graph screen, I'm going to press second program number nine again. This time, you're going to use your arrow buttons to arrow to a location where you want to establish a center point for your circle. So I'll establish this as a center point for my circle. So when you're pleased with where your center is, press enter. Now use the arrow key to determine the size radius you want to have. So that looks like a good radius there. So then I press enter. This is more of a freestyle method because your x and y coordinates are approximate, whereas from the home screen you can give specific coordinates for your center and a specific distance for your radius. So again, from the graph screen, second program, number nine. And again, just move to a location where you're satisfied with a center. Press enter to lock it in. Use your arrow keys. You can either move left or right or up or down. And when you've determined the size radius, press enter, and then you've got another circle.